and tell you how Nanny rocks. Um, <laughs> before I start, I want to share with you some personal reasons why I got involved with Full Circle. Um, I've only been employed with them for a month, but there are some key reasons why I got involved or why I wanted to get involved. When I was younger, um, I turned to older family people, or sorry, to family people in my um, adults in my family network who to cope with a close family bereavement. Um, and it wasn't my parents I turned to. I also have older parents now, and my mum really, her mood swings are such that she needs social um, impact, and she needs to get out, and she needs to go and meet with her dog walking friends. My dad, um, through illness, is quite insular, and it's only when my young son visits that he actually opens up and engages. So why have I shared those reasons with you? Well, Full Circle brings older and younger people together with the aim of nurturing understanding, respect, and friendship across the generations. And tonight we're asking you to join us on this journey. Our work involves weekly intergenerational groups, typically in schools, and we have an established model which involves recruiting a local facilitator, potentially a, a teaching assistant, and this established, established model involves us working intensively for a period of time with the school and funding that period of time before handing over the ownership of the group to the school for years to come. And indeed, we are immensely proud that a number of our earliest groups are now into their second decade of running. To set up, we work within the local communities of the schools that we are supporting to source to find older volunteers. And this can take a lot of relationship building. There's a lot of one-to-one -one contact to establish where we can find the older volunteers, but also it can be very daunting for someone to come into a school environment and to meet new people. For the children, the school's facilitator, or the facilitator will work with the schools to select children, and often they are going through quite an emotional time. They may have a life event bereavement divorce that they're coping with. They need to build trust, to build communication. They need to build their social skills and really have a nurturing environment. A management committee member who used to facilitate one of our groups told a wonderful story where um, a child had chosen not to speak out. She used to whisper to friends, but she wouldn't speak. And she joined a full circle group and she started to trust one particular older volunteer. And one day she spoke out, she spoke out loud. And that's the impact of our work. We measure the impact throughout the year through one-to-one -one conversations <coughs> with the heads of the school, with facilitators, with older and younger people that we support. But actually we know that the impact is immediate. I visited um, a school in Blackburn Lees that's only been set up since February. And I was immediately struck by the cohesive nature of this group. The simple act of them sharing lunch, the children took the order, they served, they cleared the plates, but they were having a conversation. And it was just such a friendly and cohesive group. And they shared with me this wonderful story of a little boy, he was desperate to get to the group and in his eagerness burst through the doors and turned around and went, hello, old people. <laughs> <laughs> For the older volunteers, it's a way of combating loneliness. Um, and it's a way of them being able to reach out to people um, from the community, it's a way of them meeting new people, meeting people of all ages as well. But it gets them in touch with the younger generation and certainly the um, older volunteers that I've had the pleasure of meeting over the last few weeks have all said that they love watching the children join the group and then develop and then see them move on and they really feel like they're passing on a, on a legacy. Full Circle is 100% reliant on fundraising. Um, and this year, we are able to maintain <coughs> our 19 intergenerational groups in schools across Oxfordshire. And we're also setting up three schools in Blackbird Leeds, or setting up three school groups, rather. But to do anything more, we need funding. And that's why we're here tonight. Um, we need your support to plan for a sustainable future, because we want to go on for the second decade and the third decade, and we want our school groups to do this. And so that's why we're here tonight. And I'd like to introduce Kath, who's going to um, talk a little bit more about one of her school groups and why she got involved. Thank you. 
I joined um, five years ago, and I found out about it five years ago. Oh dear, I'm going to have to go at this speed. <laughs> Um, I've, it wasn't through loneliness I joined because I had no knowledge of the younger generation. I had no, uh, my children were grown, I had no grandchildren. I watched the younger generation all around me and they were a complete mystery to me. I didn't understand anything they were talking about. <laughs> so I suddenly thought that I'd like to find out about them and that's why I joined Coral Circle. And by golly, you certainly find out about it. <laughs> I've loved every minute of it and I've learned a tremendous amount from them. To such an extent that three years ago, my daughter um, decided to adopt. And suddenly, we had a granddaughter in the family. She was seven years old at that uh, time when she came into the family, at the same age as the children in the group that I'm working with. And I suddenly realized that I understood what she was talking about. And I understood her likes and dislikes. And we, because of my experience with her, uh, oh, finish. Finish, finish the sentence. Yeah. Finish the sentence. Finish the sentence. telling you how my granny rocks. Because of my experience with the children, I am able to build up. I have been able to build up an uh, excellent rapport with my new granddaughter to the extent that, uh, for a surprise, I manage and. If any of you got grandchildren, you will know this, that the, the little girls love One Direction. Oh. Yes. And I managed to get One Direction's autographs for her, and the next time I saw her, she said, Granny, you rock. Oh. <laughs>